Drop it. <laughs> What's up YouTube, Hunter here. Today I'm going to show you how to install CM11 on the Samsung Galaxy S4. The first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to your internet browser and you're just going to want to go to cyanogenmod.org. Next you go to the download tab and if you're on Mac you hit Command F, if you're on Windows you hit Control F and you're just going to search Samsung, Samsung Galaxy S4 and it'll show you all of these versions right here. Now you just find your respective carrier. I'm with Sprint, so I'm gonna click it right here. And now, next you'll see this. So basically, we're gonna look for the newest one, which is CM11. Now this will be this is CM10 right here, so it's CM dash whatever number you want. So we want CM11. So I already have it downloaded in my downloads folder. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the Dropbox link in the description below and download G apps. So once you do that then come back to the video so next thing you want to do is you're going to want to open up Android file transfer and if you don't know how to do that on a Mac you just uh, have a video in this area right here showing you how to do that but if you're on Windows you just open up um, my computer and then you click on your device so the next thing you do is you just go to your device and anywhere you want just hit new folder and I'm just going to title this CM now you will need to be rooted for this so I'll have a video over here on how to root and all that and install a custom recovery and all that. So we just go to the CM folder and we're going to open up our downloads folder. So I actually have it opened up right here and these are the two apps I need. So here's my G apps and here's my CM11. So I'm just going to copy them and I'm going to paste them into here. So that's not working for me so I'm just going to try dragging it in. Okay and as you can see it's copying the items now. So this is pretty much going to be the end of the part for the computer part. Now this will work on Mac and Windows, I don't know if I already told you that. But this is the end of the computer part, so now we'll go to our phone now that these two are downloaded. So see you all in a second guys, bye. Okay YouTube, so I'm back. So in my files app, I actually, if I look into all files, I can see the CM folder and I got these two zip files. So now to install them, we're going to have to go into recovery mode. So that's very simple to do, you just turn your device off so power off and you're gonna have to have a custom recovery I don't know if I already told you that so I'll also have links to everything down in the description below so you can learn mm -hmm. how to do all that so once my capacitive button turns off we can do this so we hold volume up home and power until we see uh, team win so let's let it load well it'll say Samsung but it'll it should boot into team win for us so let's just let this boot up real quick Okay, as you can see, team win. So, what we're going to want to do first is we're going to have to go to the install section. So, you just hit the install button and you search for where it is. So, here's the CM folder and we're going to install Cyanogen Mod first. So, we just basically what I just did is I just clicked on CM and I just swiped to confirm flash. So, it's flashing the file right now, and this might take a little while. So, I'll get back with y'all once this is done. Okay, YouTube. So, after about I don't know, 30 seconds or so, it finally finished that. So now we just hit the little back arrow right here and we're going to install G apps. So now we just swipe to confirm Flash. Now this should not take that while, a long time since it's just Google Apps. It's not going to take too long. So I'm just going to let this go real quick. And as you can see, this is actually a progress bar. So now it's done. So we just hit the back arrow again. And now we're going to go to Wipe, which is right up here, Advanced Wipe. And we're going to uh, select Dalvik Cache, Data, and Cache. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to swipe to wipe. <laughs> that kind of rhymes, I guess. And we're just going to let this go real quick. So I'll get back with y'all once it's done swiping all the cache and all that. So see you on a second, guys. Bye. Okay, YouTube. So I'm back. So it just says successful right here. So now I just go back. And we're going to go to Reboot System. So reboot, and we're just going to click System. Now, since this is our first time launching into Cyanogen Mod, it should it will take a little while. So now I'm just seeing what it says. Uh, kernel is not enforcing. Okay, I don't know what it's saying right now, but I'll actually just go to when it boots up. So see you in a second, guys. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. So I was just saying that the first part of the boot. So now it's just the Cyanogen Mod little creature thing we have there, and it's just circling. So I'm going to go to the part where it's actually the setup part. So yeah, see you all in a second, guys. Bye.
Okay, YouTube, so I'm back. So now it's to the Welcome to Cyanogen mod. So I just click where, I, where I'm from, so English, United States. So I just hit Next. And I just want to skip that. I don't want to log into them. So I'm just going to set up all the stuff in here. It's just the normal setup for stuff. So I'll get back to y'all once it's actually booted up. So see you in a second, guys. Bye. Okay, YouTube, so I'm back. So I pretty much just set it up real quick. So now I just hit Open. Okay. And so here's the new Cyanogen mod. Now it's based on Android 4.4 KitKat. And so here you can see some of the stuff. So I'm just going to go to the settings real quick. So let me just find out where the settings are. Sorry. Um, okay, so now we're just going to go to about device. About phone, actually. And we're going to go to Android version. So you can see it's 4.1. So I want to see if they have the KitKat thing. So now if we click it a bunch of times, hopefully it goes to the Android thing, and maybe we'll get to the other part of the Easter egg for you. Okay, well, never mind about that. But as you can see, it's full Android 4.4.1. So, yeah, this is awesome. And I'm going to make a video on how to actually um, install the all your apps that you had on your old phone. So... Yeah, so stay tuned and be subscribed if you want to see that. So, yeah, see you on the next video, guys. Bye.